All right, uh, it's an early morning, and uh, I guess this is different than your regular TikToks because uh, well, I'd just like to talk about photo books. And I, I think a couple of months ago I scored this photo book. Let me get the microphone a little bit out of the way. It's um, oh, now my camera is failing on me. But this is uh, from Sebastian Liefschitz. It's called Amateur, and it's a collection of four books. Uh, fourth one is here and um, the, the whole deal with that photo book is is that it's a collection of, of found photographs and uh, I think it's besides of course the, the photo book classics it's one of the best photo books I've ever seen so let's get this one out of the way and let's talk about uh, number four, because I will um, work backwards, I will start with four and then, uh, yeah, eventually I will end up at one. Uh, just for my own sake, because I just think it's interesting. Uh, if other people find it interesting, that's lovely as well. But um, yeah, this is the cover. Like I said, it's all found photographs. This is sort of like a veneer cover. Um, yeah. I think a lot of people with all the digital stuff in the world forgot about the, um, the magic of photo books and especially if you're into photography, buy books, go to art shows. Um, yeah, it's, it's really, really well made. The fourth one, number four is called Flu, by the way. Um, and I'm not going to bore you that much with the introduction. Um, you can see volume four. Amateur collection of found photographs by Sebastian Liefschitz. And as you can see, the photographs, this is the first one. It has like a beautiful composition. It's blurry. Everyone always thinks that photographs needs to be sharp or um, needs to yeah, be like very clinical because all the cameras nowadays are made clinical. But from an artistic perspective, this is like an amazing, gorgeous photograph of two young boys <clears throat> in a in a sort of a, yeah clothing that they wear during that time. I don't know. It's, it, there's not much known about these photographs, so it's uh, a lot of guesswork. But as you can see, there's like the um, I don't want to call the Netflix name show because I really hate that show. But it's the uh, the PB show, let's call it, but yeah, they have the, the hat and, uh, and, and the tie and a uh, nice, beautiful three-piece suit. I like three-piece suits, by the way. And here you see one of those other photographs at the beginning. You see that the composition is made by bookmarks, or bookshelves more, books, uh, bookshelves. Uh, you, humans are used as bookshelves, and the kind of quality you see in composition you don't see nowadays anymore and this is sort of like a i'm colorblind so i don't know if it's sepia but this is sort of like a sepia uh toning up over it and about it and you can see it in the next one as well it's also a very amazing gorgeous photograph also with the with the with the bookshelf idea you have the composition if you didn't have this then this would would have been just a plain landscape and that's it. And why would you want a plain landscape? You need to spice it up a bit. Of course, there's nothing wrong with a plain landscape. But if you can do it like this, it's even more special. And you don't even need to use the human for that. Um, lately, I have not been using any people in my own work. Uh, and that's a relief, actually. Um, and here you see a color photograph. It's one of the rare color photographs in, in all of those four books. Where you can... Um, it's mainly black and white. Um, I like color photographs, but I don't look at the world similar as you guys do. So, um, yeah, but it, it's nice anyway. It uses the same principle. And, and you can see also the flow of the book coming. First, people started on the side, and now people start to come in the middle. Uh, and just to break up the composition. Here's a nice blurry photograph again. See, and you see, there is nothing wrong with, with blurry stuff. Maybe I can zoom in a bit. I don't know. Can I do that? Focus. Go on. 
It's not focusing. Is it focusing? Yeah, it's it's sort of focusing. Yeah, I mean, this one is buried as well. You see a man leaning forward, trying to get out of the edge of the frame. Some, I think, birdies or something. It's, uh, I don't know. It's, uh, I think, geese. It, it truly is that remarkable that um, such a beautiful photo book. Uh, you can see that this photograph is a bit damaged. This is not in the paper of the book, but this is um, from the photograph itself. And you see all the dust spots on it. And, but it's remarkable that such a beautiful editing. Yeah, and a partial nude. More nudes. Nude of a dirty guy. I don't know what he's doing, and I don't want to know, but it's freakishly weird. Um, <clears throat> But it's 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 a beautiful edit. Uh, editing is not, um, of course, making your photograph look pretty. Editing is the art of putting things in the sequence. Uh, all the YouTubers uh, forgot about that. They call everything editing, but yeah, let's just say they're a bit confused. This one is also very well placed because first we had the. The suggestive, suggestive ones, and then we have this one, and most likely she's just in awe of the surroundings because it's a very beautiful surroundings. You can see the seaside. She's higher up, so it's a nice view. You see some leading lines in the background, and I think she's just gasping of air, or whatever. Um, and here you see, oh, actually, a contrast to the previous one because. Um, the things in f before this were like a suggestion of debauchery, and now you suddenly see a marriage dress, 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 dress. Yes, not a j jazz, a dress. English is not my first language, so uh, yeah, F it. Um, and here we go on again. It's every time I open up the pages, and I use it a lot to study, <clears throat> it's remarkable. How things are done. I mean, if you look at this, this is just a simple photograph of a flower. It's vague. It's. I think it's made in summer because these flowers you only see in summer, mainly next to the road. <clears throat> but yeah, it's it's it, it is stunning. Um, PG. And that's also one of the reasons why you don't need to look at your photographs at. And your computer because if you take your, your photographs yourself and, and print them out and, and tone them or whatever or even print them on, on normal cheap ass paper you see them transform completely and I mean some of them well I don't know maybe we can run into another example again of this one is also very strong of uh, of what, like the one, the one with the flower. It gets... <laughs> this one is weird. It's uh, yeah, you can see that you, if you tone it or make it completely look different, different types of paper or just have a simple print, it's not a simple photograph anymore. It's something special. It's something out of this world. Uh, and you don't need to have like fancy, expensive printing stuff. You can just do it uh, on a cheap printer. Maybe cheap printer is sometimes even better than a super expensive one. Or don't go to stores where they do like uh, glisse printing. And uh, yeah, I mean, make it an, a, a piece of art out of it. I mean, this one, I mean, Jesus Christ. It's fucking stunning. All right, uh, I don't know how long I have, but um, I'm, I'm approaching the 10 minute mark. Um, uh, check out the book yourself. I'm not a bookstore, of course. I'm just a photographer and use this stuff to learn. So check out this as well. It's, uh, it's amazing. <laughs>